we're on the GoPro now, and I want to show you guys a couple lures that I'm going to be throwing for these Albies, if there are even Albies there. So here we go, guys. First, I got the epoxy jig. Little epoxy jig. Uh, I don't know the ounce. I don't know anything about that. So in this style of bait, which is like a sort of like long, skinny metal type bait, I'm going to be throwing either a deadly dick or an epoxy jig. And I also have this other brand one. So I got three right here, which I'm just going to throw in there. Then, guys, I also have the SP Minnow. You know, you never know. You can catch them unplugged. So I got the SP minnows at the ready. But then the bait that I'm going to start off throwing is going to be a soft plastic. And guys, I'm a huge fan of uh, Fishaholic and Sea Money up here on YouTube. So um, basically, they've been using these things called Albi Snacks. And they look amazing. Guys, I wish I could use an Albi Snack. But I don't know like where sells them and ordering them it's just gonna be a hassle it's not gonna come in in time so I decided to look through my soft plastics and see what would kind of imitate an obby snack and these little um, sluggo little sluggo baits will imitate them perfectly except these sluggo baits aren't as fat aren't as big and aren't like perfect like the albi snacks are really just a perfect like 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 cylinder like they're just perfect so basically I'm gonna put one of these one of these uh, sluggos I have black ones too black ones might work and then I also have white flukes super flukes if you guys ever use that bass fishing but um yeah I got this little hook right here this should work perfect these little um screw in with the weight on them I got two of them here I can use these these are a little light though but they'll work if they're hitting like a weightless presentation so I got those right there but what I'm going to start off throwing is probably one of these jig heads. That's what I'm going to start off throwing them on. I don't know which one, but they all weigh approximately like a quarter ounce to a half ounce. Not super heavy, but not super light. I'm not sure, but um, I'm going to rig it up and I'll show you guys in a sec. Okay, guys. So um, what I did here is I put the sluggo on this... Um, this jig head. I was debating between these two, but this one looks like it has a little bit sharper hook. Uh, the hook's not covered in as much rust, and the hook point or the hook sticks out lower, so it'll give the body more action to jiggle around. And yeah, they're about as heavy as each other, and they're similar style jig heads. They, the I, the eye that pokes out the top of the lead. So um, yeah, similar style. I'll try this one first, but um. If you guys notice here, I tried to make this logo as perfect as possible, like as straight as I possibly could on um, on the jig head. So it'll give it the best presentation, even for the finicky albie. So I'm gonna grab this real quick using these little, let me show you guys real quick. These are Tactical Angler power fishing clips they are so awesome guys i'm using the 50 pound test run 50 pound test one right now and it's a little clip that basically let me check if my line's weak no basically you just put the lure on that little here look see how it is right there guys you get the eyelet of the lure and put it right on right on the I'm trying to show it so you guys can see it you put the the little bent part on the eyelet of the lure and you just pull and it clips in and it's in guys that's that's all you need to do there's your lure it's awesome guys they work really quick if you're in a blitz and you just want to quickly switch lures and they're awesome so i'm gonna go fishing and you guys are gonna come with so yeah let's go catch some albies Guys, got my first fish. Little schoolie stripe on the blind cast. Oh, 
Nobody. Wow, he will not stop. He's got him. Nice little squeeze stripe on the blind cast. There he goes. Uh, what? Yeah, he's all good. Little straight pass. Then you found a school guy. Yeah, probably did. Oh, I just got bit. Got him, he's on. <laughs> nice. This is a light bite. Feels big though. Oh, holy cow. Oh, I think I got a blue. I got a blue. Yeah, that's why he's fighting so hard. That's why he's fighting so hard, yeah. Yeah. I thought he was a bigger stripe because that's why he's fighting so hard. But he's... I'll tell you, they put up a fight. I think they put up more of a fight than a stripe. Oh, yeah, definitely. Pound for pound. Same size blue puts up like twice the fight of a striper. But I don't have an iron leader on, so he might. I didn't want him to snap me off. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Oh. There we go. Yeah, nice little blue. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay guys, gonna do some surgery. Be right back. Okay guys, just caught a nice, nice blue. He destroyed my bait, so I ripped the head off. A little bit smaller profile. Hopefully he can get another one. Okay guys, got another one on. I think it's a striper. Yeah, I think so. He's not running like a blue. Oh, wait, maybe. Oh no, it's a blue, I think. I think so. Hopefully he didn't frame my line. Oh yeah, it's a blue. <laughs> wow, they fight hard. Yeah, there's definitely a school. I chucked on the little bucktail with the little swim bait on the back, and he just crushed it. Thank you. Oh crap. This little blue guys. There he goes. It's all good. They just get scales all over your hands. I know. So one thing. Yeah, that's like the, um, the scup. Scup do that. Oh yeah, scup do that too. They're not doing nothing like that. I know, huh? No. Not getting any action. This is pretty light, the jig head, but should work. It's a little tiny finesse presentation. No problem. And then I was using this before. That's what they were crushing. A little sluggo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I changed up from that. Okay, guys. So I've been using the Bass Sass and Sea Shad on a little tiny bucktail. The bucktail's destroyed so it's almost like a jig head but yeah that's what they've been hitting in the beginning i was using a sluggo i got those first two fish in the sluggo and that last blue on the uh, bass assassin so let's keep catching them got him 
coming back to this spot. On the little swim bait? Yeah. Nice. They seem to be over here today. So I'm coming back to this spot. Oh, right here. Oh, oh my God. Dude. Yeah, he just, he was on. And then I didn't even, I was looking over there and he just almost pulled right there, like on the surface. Almost pulled my pole in the water. God, it was a blue. Got him? It's definitely a small, small school. Yeah, because my swim baits came off too. Oh, I got him. Yeah, it's a school, it's a school. Oh, jumper. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Gotta put on an iron leader. I was afraid that would happen. <laughs> Crap. They're liking that popper. Oh, that's a nice one. Jumping out of the water. Follow me on YouTube. I think it's a blue. Is it? Yeah, because he jumped. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. I love tog fishing. They fight really hard. Holy cow. Nice, dude. Okay guys, seems like they've turned on to top water. So I'm gonna Again <laughs> I'm gonna switch to a popper. Or actually, I'll switch to a spook. Got the spook out of the bag, guys. They're probably going to crush the spook. You ever fish freshwater? Yeah, yeah. That's what I, that's what I usually do. Yeah, that's the same here. That's my favorite. Dude, this time of year, this time of year, dude, yeah. salt water, you just... Blues, bass, sometimes false albacore if you can get on them. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, you're not even going to believe me, but um, last week I had a bait caster. I don't know if you know this. this it's the, I think it's it's not the Silver Max. It's like. Black the, Max? No, that's that's from. Uh, that's. It's the, it's the Bass Pro Shops bait. Oh. Bait. I don't know. Uh, Silver Series or something like that. Uh huh. I, have a, I brought my bait caster here with my. Uh, the setup that I used to use for frog fishing and stuff. Uh-huh. And, you know, I figured, okay, I have 50 pound braid. Yeah. So, you know. You're not going to lose. Handle the fish. Of course. <laughs> but it wasn't, it wasn't exactly a scoop. It was more shaped. Not like, not exactly like a football, but, um, it was like the red and the white, but it had, um, fluorescent yellow instead of the red and the white. Uh-huh. And it was on that side, right? Probably about with that red bucket or whatever that is over there. Yeah. Fish first out. albacore? Or a bonito came up out of nowhere. I was so excited. And Did you catch it? Dude, I tried pulling it up and of course you know how freshwater hooks are. Oh yeah. They're like, you know, it's like a one aught, two aught on them. Uh-huh. Bet the shit out of them. That's why, like I came here just to see if I can get on some albies. Because they yeah. come like people were telling me, like my friends, um, he says he comes down here, right, and he catches like albacore all along this side, right to this deep side. And he says they run right through. They're loving like Clark's Cove. They've been coming out and they've been going right around. And he said if you can get on them, there's like 
albacore, bonito, they'll just go right through here. And that's why I literally came here. I got my light set up. Yeah. I was ready to see if I could get some, but. Just yesterday, there was a bonito that flew, like literally flew right across the front of the, uh, in front of the dock over there. Literally like, it was right under the water. You could see it was yeah. like a wake under the water. Oh yeah. And it just flew by. Nobody, you know, nobody had time to catch it. But oh yeah. Dude, bonito or albacore, dude, they're so hard. Like you can't just, you can't just throw like a normal lure at them. You gotta be like, did you get a blow up? No, it's on the little. Uh, oh, the swim bait. Yeah. You gotta like. Oh, it was the blue. It's freaking blue. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I brought my um, epoxy jigs. You ever used one of those? Yeah, that's what I heard. The, the guy was saying yesterday that that's good for. Uh, Albacore and bonito. Yeah, and then also um. What do those look like? I can show you. It's like a. It looks kind of like a, um, a spoon, okay. like, but it's like, it's not. I don't know, it's kind of confusing. It's like covered in like a plastic coating, epoxy, and you just rip them. And it works apparently, so I might just chuck it around a little for fun. Oh, I think I just got bit. Holy cow. Another little stripe. Oh my god. Holy cow. Oh yeah, he just stopped the whole bait, the big sluggo. Let's see if it's a blue. Like it's a pretty big bait, like. Oh shit, that's black too. Yeah. I ran out of white ones. <laughs> and that guy just stopped it. Got to come here at high tide. I want to get one of those. Oh, I just got hit. Try the other side. What? I almost think we should try the other side. Maybe. I just got hit again, I think. Oh yeah, I got hit. I knew it. Dude, I was like, that that felt like a hit, right? <laughs> and he just took the whole entire thing off. I'm gonna trim it next time. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta win the lottery, you know what I'm saying? Okay, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw the epoxy jig just for a little bit before I leave. Might be able to catch a, a blue or a bass, you know, something off of it. Okay, guys calling it a night. Sorry for the wind noise. I can tell there's going to be wind noise because the wind's right there, but I'll walk like this. Last cast, I had a nice blue, ripped the back off. I'm heading out. It was good fishing. Lots of blues here. Um, hopefully I can come back and get my first albacore. The hunt for my first albie continues. So, till next time, guys. Tight lines.